Okay, hello guys and once again, welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this video, we are going to enter Bronze Hard Mode Level 1 uh, Solo Run. So we are, our class is a Soul Dancer, so we are going to challenge the Bronze Level 1. So for the first map, once you enter this map, our main objective would be to look for the cores or the core that is hidden within the three chests available on this map. So we have three chests located on this map. You can already see a glimpse of the other chests. But for now, we are going to head towards the one located on the upper left corner after uh, on the upper left side. Okay, so once we're here, you can auto activate your skills and auto attack the monsters. So we can now open the chest. Okay, if you get the core at your first try, you can immediately head towards the center and activate the sculpture. But as you can see here, the chest I opened was empty. So we have two more chest chests that we can check out. So we can use this, we can actually pass by here, it's quite faster. Okay, if you're standing here, those are the second and the third chests that we can open. So for this one, you need to pull the platforms in order to jump over them and access the chest. Okay, I glitched a bit. So pull the platform. Okay, we have obtained the core, so we can now auto move towards the middle line or the middle hall to activate the sculpture. Now if that chest was empty for you, you can get to this location and open the third chest. So that's the guide for the first map. So for the second map, the main objective would be to activate the this sculpture which has four heads. And then we need to destroy each head in order to activate the third map and get a chest as well.
Okay, so there would be a cutscene. Cut this is the next main entry on how to proceed to the second map. So our clue would be to destroy the lamp first before we can destroy the main door blocking the hallway. So disable your auto attack, click on the lamp, and then you can begin attacking again. Okay, for the main door, for the first half of the HP, if you check, if you check the HP here, you can attack at the front. So just attack. Once the HP is, it's our when we have three fourths of the HP shade off. We need to head towards this location, the location here on the wall. This is to protect us from the vigilant uh, toads that is right behind this door, which can pull you to their location, which can stun lock you and kill you immediately, especially if you don't have high HP or physical defense. So we need to stay here. So this is a glitch, I believe. Okay, I'm not sure why I activated the polymorph. <laughs> okay, so just attack the door. So the Vigilant Far Toad will eventually go towards your location. So there we go. So we just need to kill uh, this Vigilant Toads. Those Fire Toads are really strong. They have the skill with their tongue that will pull you towards their location. And it's gonna be hard to kill them. You can't use the hit and run tactic because they would always use the tongue to pull you towards them. So just stay on this location, it's the safest one for now. And then just continue to release your skills on them. Okay, for the other toad monsters inside, they're not as difficult to kill. But let's just kill them here. And... Regen some HP. Okay, for the second map, there are two boss monsters or semi-boss monsters located here. So first, let's get the chest. We need to pass by the traps. The rolling balls doesn't deal a lot of damage, however, the fire traps will deal around 200 to 300 K of damage. So it's a DPS damage. If I were you, if you don't have high HP, high M and physical defense, stay away from the fire. As you can see, the damage is very high. Okay, so this is the location of the two Okay, it's not showing <laughs> There should be two monsters here, but it's not showing up Okay, there we go So you can disable your auto attack you can either attack them one at a time or you can attack them both so that That would be up to you for me I'll take them one at a time. I find it to be a lot faster and less more stressful.
Oh fuck, the ball. Okay, now you can focus on the last monster here. If you don't have a high rating, attacking them one at a time would be the best option. It will reduce damage, it will reduce the stress of trying to attack and dodge both monsters. Okay, after you defeat two, the two boss monsters guarding the hall, you can now open the chest. Okay, now we need to pass by this location. So this would be the location of the third map. I'm not sure if there's a hidden chest around this hall. It's too wide to be empty. But for now, let's proceed to the last and final boss location Okay, for the final location, do not pass by via the center line. Walk around the two guard monsters. We are now heading towards the secret chest or the hidden chest. By the way, if you can see the boxes over here, this will play an important part later on with the final boss. Okay, for this location, we need to hop towards this platform, the second one and the third one where the chest can be seen. I'm not good at jumping, but we are going to do our best. Make sure that you have enough stamina to make the jump. Okay, there we go. And take the hidden chest. After you take the hidden chest, you can now fight the two guard monsters. Now the technique for these two monsters is, is that you need to defeat them at the same time. So having them close to each other would be your best option to defeat them a lot faster. Okay, once you defeat them, another chest will show up. Once you open this chest, the final boss dragon will appear. Okay, there we go. So for this boss monsters, there are uh, monster. There is a spot beneath him that damage won't be as high. Oh, 
always watch out for his 1k o aoe skill which he will eventually activate once your once the hp or once his hp is at 50 percent so that would be at five So I'm not good at dodging, but if you are, you can definitely finish this without dying. So there you go, he's activating the skill. That's a one-shot AoE skill. So get inside the bubble. This will protect you from the damage. Once it's done, you can auto attack the monster again. So go inside the bubble once again if he activates the one shot AOE skill. Okay, so that would be it. That is how you can defeat hard mode 1 as a soul dancer. Okay guys, if this video helped you out, please make sure to click the like, the subscribe, and if you have other suggestions or if you know any other tips and guides or hidden chests on this location, please let me know. And once again, thanks for watching.